What's up, my name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to set up a professional Facebook business page. So let's not waste any time and dive right in. First we have to log into our personal Facebook account. If you don't have a Facebook account, don't worry, just go to facebook.com, create your account and then come back to this video. Once we're logged into our personal Facebook account, we want to click on the little plus sign in the top right corner. This is where we can create something new on Facebook. We want to create a new Facebook page, so let's go ahead and click on page. That will open up the Facebook page editor where we can start setting up our new page. So let's start with our page name on the left side of the screen. As an example for this video, we're going to create a page for an online store selling watches. So I'm going to use the name Medix Watches. For your specific page, just use the name of your business. Then let's move on to category. We want to make sure to find the category that describes our business as closely as possible. So for this page, let's choose jewelry and watches store. We could choose up to three categories here. The first one that we choose will be visible right under the name of our page. Next, let's go to the page description. Here we get up to 255 characters to describe our business. This will help our visitors to understand what our page and business is about, so we want to make sure it's as clear as possible and also let people know what makes us unique. Then let's click on create page on the bottom left. Now let's continue by adding our profile picture. So we click on add profile picture on the left side. We're going to choose an image of our company logo, which will then be displayed next to the name of our Facebook page. Then we also want to click on add cover photo to choose an image that will be displayed at the top of our page. This is the first thing that visitors will see when they go to your page. So you want to make sure it's high quality and also represents exactly what your page and business is about. Once we've added our cover photo, we can adjust the position of the image by dragging it up or down until it looks perfect. Then we're going to click save. And that will take us to our newly created Facebook page. However, there's still a couple of things we have to set up. One very important thing is creating a call to action for our page. So let's click on add a button. Here we can choose exactly what we want people to do when they visit our Facebook page. So we want to choose the option that turns our Facebook page visitors into new customers. Depending on your business, you might want people to call you, send you an email or sign up for something. In our example, this Facebook page should get people to our online store. So what we're going to choose here is shop now. Then we're going to type in the URL of our website and click save. Next, we want to create a username for our Facebook page. This will make it easier for people to find us and will also get us a nice looking custom link to our Facebook page. So let's click on create username. Then we're going to type in the name of our business. We're going to click once somewhere on the window to see if we can actually take this username. And when we see a green check mark, we can click on create username. However, as you can see here, sometimes Facebook doesn't allow us to create a username right away. In this case, we just have to come back to this step after our page has seen some activity or after we have gained at least 25 followers. That usually solves the problem of not being able to create a custom username. As this is the case right now, we're just going to skip this step for now and come back to it later. The next thing we want to do is go to the left side of the page and click on edit page info. We've already set up the general info and the categories, so let's scroll down to the next part. Here we can add our contact information like phone number, email address and website or in case we don't want to add that information, we could just click on my page doesn't have a phone number, email or website. Then we're going to scroll down and do the same for our business location. And again, if you don't want to enter your location details, just click on my page doesn't have a location. If you only operate in specific neighborhoods, cities or regions, you can define your service area here. We could also define our opening hours, but as we are an online store, we're going to leave it at no hours available so that no specific hours will be displayed on our page. Then for temporary service changes, we're going to click on operation as usual so that visitors see that we're still fully operational even during the ongoing pandemic. In the more section, we can link to our private policy and for some countries, we might also have to give further information in the impressive field right here. 
We could also list our products and give some additional information about our business. You could also add a product or service price range to your Facebook page if you want people to see exactly what prices they can expect. For our example page here, we're not going to include a price range, so we're going to select unspecified. And finally, if you have other social media accounts like Instagram, Twitter or YouTube, you can add them right here. Now that we are finished setting up our page info, let's click on home to get back to our page. What we're gonna do now is customize our top menu that you see right here. So let's click on settings on the bottom left. Then we're gonna go to templates and tabs. Here we can simply select the tabs that we want people to be able to click on and deselect the ones that should not be visible. Then we wanna make sure that the three most important tabs are at the top because these are the ones that are visible right at the top of our page. So let's now check out how our new Facebook page looks like as a visitor. So we're gonna click on our page name on the top left right here to get back to our page and then we're gonna click on view as visitor to see exactly what our page currently looks like for someone just visiting our new Facebook page. As you can see, we have now a complete and detailed about section, a button that leads directly to our website and the customized menu tabs right here. What we wanna do now is get a couple of people to follow and like our page. So we're gonna click on exit view as on the top right to get back to our editing mode. Then we're gonna scroll down a bit to where it says invite friends to like your page. We're gonna click on see all friends and then either select them individually or just click on select all. Then all we have to do is click on send invites so that your Facebook friends will get a notification asking them to follow and like your page. Now your Facebook page is all set up and you're ready to publish your first post. If you wanna see a more detailed tutorial and learn how to make the most of your new Facebook business page, then make sure to watch my complete Facebook business page tutorial that you see on screen now. Also, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate if you'd click that thumbs up button below the video, that would really help me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.